Sri Lanka is going to ban wearing of burqas and shut more than 1,000 Islamic schools or madrasas for national security. So is this a war on terror as Sri Lanka seems to be saying or is it an attack on the privacy of Muslim women and their rights? Let me simplify this for you. We know that burqa is a garment or wheel that Muslim women wear to cover the entire body including the face. Sri Lanka's public security minister Sarath Veer Sarikara has recently signed a paper for the cabinet and parliamentary approval to ban burqas on national security grounds. He said it is a sign of religious extremism that came about recently. We are definitely going to ban it." Unquote. Is this for the first time that government is planning to ban burqas? Well, the temporary ban on wearing of the burqa in the majority Buddhist nation was done earlier in 2019 also after the series of bombings on Easter Sunday. Let me remind you that more than 270 people were killed and more than around 500 were injured in the Easter bombing case. So why is it being done now again? The government is saying this is being done for national security. Sri Lankan government has come up with new regulations under the Draconian Prevention of Terrorism Act. Now, this anti-terror law mandates the government and gives them the power to detain suspects for up to two years for de-radicalization. President Gotabaya Rajapaksa was elected president in 2019 after promising a crackdown on extremism in the country. And that's the reason the government has now announced to use this controversial anti-terror law to deal with religious extremism in the country. The government of Sri Lanka is also going to ban more than 1,000 Islamic schools as part of this to stop flouting of national education policy, as I told you. Sri Lanka's public security minister Sarat Vira Sikara said, Nobody can open a school and teach whatever you want to the children. Unquote. This is all being done for de-radicalization. But who's de-radicalization and why? The answer to that question is this. De-radicalization of anyone suspected of harboring extremist ideas or for spreading religious, communal or ethnic hatred, acts of violence or religious, racial or communal disharmony or feelings of ill will or hostility between different communities." Unquote. What is the percentage of people that will be affected by the ban? Sri Lanka has more than 9-10% of Muslim population out of the total population of 22 million people in the island nation. The Muslim population will be directly affected by this move that has come after two years of the 2019 Easter bombings. Now let's also remember that in March last year 2020, the government of Sri Lanka had imposed some rules and restrictions that said the bodies of COVID-19 victims could only be cremated. The rules banned burial of COVID-19 victims' bodies, saying that the virus could spread by contaminating groundwater. Though this ban was lifted this year after widespread criticism from the international rights groups. Many Muslim groups had also protested and agitated against this for months. What are commentators saying on this? A Sri Lankan peace and women's rights activist Shrin Sarur said that this move has come at a time when the Muslim community has been constantly targeted. Unquote. Sarur also said that it's part of the Islamophobic reaction in Sri Lanka. Unquote. Activists like Sarur believe that it looks like a very political revenge move. Other activists are seeing this move as a violation of Muslim women's right to practice their religion freely in the country. But Public Security Minister Vira Sekaran has defended the move by saying that burqa is something that directly affects our national security. This came to Sri Lanka only recently. It is a symbol of their religious extremism. Unquote. Let me remind you one more thing that this burqa ban announcement has come after Switzerland banned the government on March 8 after carrying out a national referendum on the issue. UN Human Rights Council has criticized the Swiss ban as discriminatory and deeply regrettable. It also said that in the wake of a political publicity campaign with strong xenophobic undertones, Switzerland is joining the small number of countries where actively discriminating against Muslim women is now sanctioned by law, unquote, which is deeply regrettable. There are other countries that have banned the burqa like Netherlands, Denmark and France. 
Do let us know what you think in the comment sections below.